my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salon Consulting and in this video I'm going to show some other ways to take advantage of the master detail. So in my previous video I showed you how I designed the master detail to kind of not make it look so much like a portal uh, but it still does all the cool master detail things. So when I click on a record it takes me to that record and makes it active and it's also based on my found set so if I go in here and look for all names that start with an A I now get the 19 records, and I'm only seeing those 19 records here on the left-hand side. I no longer need a list view to let my users choose the records they want to see. And in a lot of cases, you'll teach your users how to use find mode to find the records that they want, and then the left-hand side just shows that found set for them. But in some cases, you want to do some of the magic for your users. So I'm going to show you what I'm calling the filtered master. Now remember that this is all about found set. If you look here on the left-hand side, I've got this filter by and I've got a global field. And when I click there, it shows me all of the states. So if I go in here and choose South Carolina, now I'm looking at just the three South Carolina records. And if I click on Texas, we're back to those 32 records we looked at in the last video. So I can go in here and choose whatever state I want, and it's going to change my found set. And when this has a value in it, so when I'm filtered down by something, there's a show all button at the bottom. And when I click that, it clears the filter by, the show all button goes away, and now we're back to showing all the records. So let me jump into layout mode and show you what we have here. So there's my global field, it's called global state. It's got a script trigger on it. And it's called, on, it's for the on object modify and it's called filter by state. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Generally speaking, it's a pretty simple script. Uh, it needs to know if it's looking at all the records or if it's going to look for a specific record. So if the script parameter equals all, which is what I do for the show all button, I run the same script, uh, it's going to show all the records and clear the global field. If the script parameter isn't all, it's going to go into find mode. It's going to set the state field to whatever's in that global field, so TX or VA or whatever other state I pick, and it's going to perform the find. Then it'll sort the records and take me to the first record in my found set. And then this stuff down here is actually for the next example, so we can ignore that for now. And like I mentioned, the show all button runs the same script, which is the filter by state. The only difference is that it has a parameter of all, and so that it makes sure to show all the records. And on this one, I've got some con conditional visibility, which says if the found count equals the total records in the table, then go ahead and hide the button, because it means that you're looking at all your records and there's no need to click a show all button. So. While we're really using the master detail the same way as we normally would, where it's really based on the found set, you can set it up in a way that makes the user feel like they're, they're manipulating or controlling the left-hand side of the screen, which is really controlling the found set. So again, if I choose a state, now we're going to be down to just that one, that one state we selected. Click Show All, and we're back to all the records. If I jump over to this other layout, I've got another example where I'm calling it the hidden master. So one of my concerns is that the master detail takes up a lot of screen real estate, or at least it could. Now that said, screens are going wider and not taller, which means that we have a little bit more space left and right. So that's, that's a good thing um, and gives us potentially a little bit more space to use uh, for the master detail. But what if you don't want to use up that space? Or what if you already have a solution built out and you want to take advantage of the master detail, but you don't want to have to rearrange every single layout? Well, I've added a button over here in the corner, and if I click on that button, it's actually a popover, and the popover has the master detail in it. And similar to the previous example, it's got the global field at the top, so I can go in here and choose a state, and now we're down to a found set. So now we're looking at nine records um, that are all Arizona instead of looking at uh, all, of the, uh, all of the records in the found set. And similar, I have a show all button, and now I'm looking at all 500 records. Now I'm definitely a big supporter of using card windows wherever I can, but this is a place where the card window wouldn't actually make sense because a card window takes you to a different layout in a different window, even though it looks like it's all within one, one window there. So in this case, a popover makes a lot of sense because you're staying on the same layout, it's just an object on the layout, and uh, when you click on a record, it's going, to, it's going to affect what record you're on on the layout that you're on. So if I go into layout mode and we take a look at that real quick, you'll see we have a popover and then similar to the other object, there's the contact master detail uh, portal 
and we've got our global field at the top and we've got our show all button. So really I'm just taking the things that I built from the other layout and just throwing it into a popover here. But again, if you already have your solution built out, this is a great way to take advantage of the master detail without having to move everything around on your layout. I hope you're as excited about the master detail as I am. It's going to save us on layouts, it's going to save us on a bunch of scripting for navigation. Uh, it's a great way of letting your user know where they are in their found set and letting them navigate really easily. So feel free to drop a comment if you've got a, a different way that you're using the master detail or if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching.